Uh, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam with uh, my YouTube channel, My Intuition, class series on biology of uh, engineers, uh, mainly for computer science and engineering, uh, that particular class series I am having now. Uh, this uh, PPT, the notes, uh, it is available in the, in the description box of the YouTube channel. Each video, if you go, biology for engineers for uh, computer science stream, each of my video, if you go up to the description box, you will get uh, that particular class videos uh, ppt in the pdf form for free okay so uh, moving on to the syllabus this is the syllabus which is uh, given by visheshara technological university i'm covering the properties and function of nucleic acid in this particular class video the other classes also i have already covered and it is published in my youtube channel you can go to the playlist of bboc 407 the playlist name itself is bboc uh, 407 okay so uh, this is the course outcome mentioned in the syllabus so i need to show each and every time uh, because this is students should understand students should learn uh, this one at least um, anybody ask uh, after studying that uh, biology for engineers uh, what you learned at least if you say that i learned this much uh, that will be at least uh, satisfy your uh, degree uh, of, uh, with that particular subject now, the properties and the functions of a nucleic acid, a question is framed uh, based on uh, uh, the, uh, as per the syllabus asked. So, what is the primary function of nucleic acid in uh, cellular processes? And how do they contribute to the uh, transmission of uh, genetic information? And also discuss on uh, one uh, specific role of uh, nucleic acid uh, uh, in uh, cellular regulation okay so course outcome uh, is one co1 uh, level of question uh, revised the bloom stacks on a rbtl that is two and it is a uh, five marks i divided uh, properties into two and a half marks functions to two and a half mark up to five uh, you, you may have mentioned then uh, it carries that mark because only this is not much only you need to uh, by heart so by hearting capacity the level of question cannot be made three and all. one or two i can maintain okay so two i kept now the properties of uh, uh, properties and functions of nucleic acid in which properties of uh, nucleic acid uh, understanding the properties uh, and the functions of uh, nucleic acid is uh, it is the fundamental as well uh, as well as it is comprehending uh, the mechanism of heredity, the genetic disorders, uh, and the cellular process. Okay, so that means uh, we need to understand uh, something about nucleic acid. Uh, then only we can uh, understand how we become from our uh, parents and uh, how our children, uh, how their behavior, everything. Uh, some just uh, plus work you can do with that. Okay, so the properties of nucleic acid. First one that is. Uh, uh, sequence uh, 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 specificity the nitrogen uh, base is present that is the structure uh, polymer structure actually and it has got a nucleotide uh, structure so the the order in which uh, these nitrogen and uh, nitrogenous base are arranged uh, along the chain it is very crucial so this uh, specific sequence uh, that forms the genetic order. So in previous my class we have already shown uh, the DNA structure and how it is formed uh, in which the nitrogenous bases that adenine, uh, guanine, thymine, cytosine, how they are arranged that is very crucial uh, which uh, that sequence of arrangement uh, it becomes the code, genetic code. Uh, this is just like a unique language that which carries the instruction for building uh, and maintaining uh, an organism. So, a small change in even a single base, uh, it uh, alters the genetic message uh, with uh, very significant consequences. Uh, DNA has got a double helix uh, structure uh, that is deoxyribonucleic acid uh, structure uh, uh, that uh, it has got a double helix uh, called as the ladder, okay, the, the twisted ladder, uh, it, it can be called as the twisted ladder. So two strands they 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 wind each other around each other connected by hydrogen bonds between the 
the complementary base pairs like adenosine to thymine guanine to cytosine this is the base pair complementary base pair and this structure which provides the stability and uh, the protection for the genetic information which is stored within that one then it can be single stranded uh, the single stranded one we call it as rna uh, double standard it is uh, dna so rna it is usually uh, various types are there like messenger rna uh, transfer rna ribosomal rna like that uh, okay so the messenger rna it carries the genetic information from dna to the ribosome where protein synthesis occurs so it carries that messenger means from dna one side it separates it becomes the rna and that rna it carries that total so if the, these two hands together if it represents a, a, the dna a dna having a particular uh, arrangement of that uh, nucleotides so it stores some information so if you want to if you store the information and it also behaves as an instruction so in a particular instruction brain tells immediately the dna will be used and dna it separates that it becomes an rna the message is formed and message is separated so it becomes an rna we call it as messenger rna so messenger rna has got that particular code there okay based on that code the amino acid will come and it becomes the proteins okay so that that is called as the protein synthesis roughly i can show only like this more youtube videos will be available uh, which shows uh, the animated one okay then second one that is the transfer rna uh, transfer rna it delivers the amino acid the which are the uh, building blocks of protein to the ribosome uh, where the uh, messenger rna is uh, waiting okay so the transfer rna it uh, shift the amino acid accordingly pushes the amino acid accordingly then the ribosomal rna that is rrna uh, it forms the structure core of the ribosome uh, which which actually the machine of preparing the protein so it is rna only rna only takes the information as the messenger rna rna only uh, forms that uh, uh, the machine sh shape where uh, the synthesis of a protein takes place rna only takes the amino acids and pushes them to the machine and uh, a particular required protein is generated or formed so that is about uh, the rna then genetic code the nucleic acid uh, it encodes the genetic code a set of instructions which determines the characteristics of an organism so this code it specifies uh, the order of amino acids in protein and uh, uh, which ultimately uh, dictates uh, how an organism functions and develops that's about uh, the genetic code then uh, comes uh, the complementary base pairing uh, uh, complementary base pairing uh, in dna specific the the nitrogenous base pair uh, the across the, the helix stru helical structure double helix structure uh, in which adenine a represented as a uh, which always pairs with the thymine a to t and the uh, guanine g u a n i n e that is guanine guanine which is we write as g it always pairs with the cytosine so in dna always uh, a uh, adenosine if it is there then the other part uh, which connects to uh, become the ladder half part of the ladder that will be thymine if guanine is there cytosine will be there so these complementary pairs they hold the two strands together and uh, which facilitate uh, the uh, copying of genetic information during the cell division and reproduction a role in protein synthesis uh, protein synthesis is the process by which the cell they built uh, the proteins which is essential for various functions in which the nucleic acid uh, mainly play the role uh, dna stores that uh, genetic code for the uh, protein synthesis and i said as i said the messenger rna takes that code uh, to the ribosome ribosomal rna act as the uh, machine part and transfer rna it transfer the amino acid to the ribosome uh, and uh, based on the instruction of uh, messenger rna the particular protein is formed so whenever a particular protein requirement is there immediately this process happens that dna which carries that uh, message of 
how it to, how that protein is can be prepared it starts creating messenger rna then uh, transfer rna uh, ribosomal rna everything will take the amino acid to take uh, connect it and the uh, protein is prepared and given to the body okay so in a way if you think uh, it's very fun but uh, how complex it is and how it is functioning uh, that only our body knows okay so essential for heredity and uh, cellular regulations nucleic acid particularly the dna uh, they are the hereditary material uh, which is passed from um, the parents to the offspring so they ensures the nuclear uh, dna ensures that the transfer of genetic information across generations and allowing for the continuity of life and uh, the propagation of the traits uh, different traits uh, uh, it has to be propagated okay it, uh, in the sense uh, we always adapt to the environmental condition so not only human beings all the animal living things based on the living conditions slowly adaptation is there and that has to be passed to the next uh, trait they should not again uh, born with uh, the disability and again have to uh, adapt now already adapted one to be continued uh, and they further adapt to that conditions okay then cellular regulations uh, nucleic acid they are not just uh, passive carriers of uh, uh, genetic information they also participate in uh, in uh, regulating uh, uh, the various cellular processes which include the uh, gene expression uh, um, the um, metabolic activities this is uh, done by controlling the genes by on and off at a specific time and uh, the nucleic acid ensures the proper functioning and, and and the development and the growth of the organism next one that is uh, functions of uh, nucleic acids okay so functions of nucleic acid uh, uh, if you take it has got uh, the genetic information uh, storage uh, and uh, protein synthesis so uh, again same thing i am repeating uh, but still let me repeat uh, the dna it, it, it actually it has the master it is the master molecule uh, which act as the uh, the secure storage device for the for the genetic information which defines an organism so so this information uh, it is encoded in the in the form of uh, that base pairs uh, the nitrogenous bases adenosine trimene guanine cytosine how they are arranged in uh, continuously in series uh, that gives the code that creates the code okay so that determines our in uh, inherited uh, traits uh, from uh, our eye color to the, uh, uh, the our ability to different diseases uh, the disease uh, susceptibility all those are uh, done by the dna protein synthesis uh, uh, again many times i said in this video only three two times already said uh, they becomes a dna becomes a, or a, the nucleus nu, uh, nucleic acids are the instruments for the production of uh, protein uh, by a process called uh, transcription and translation transcription means uh, the code is separated uh, messenger rna is formed that process is called transcription and translation how how that uh, amino acids are coming to the messenger rna uh, to the ribosomal rna and uh, get uh, formed into uh, different proteins okay so that is called protein synthesis then cellular regulation and hereditary transmission uh, cellular regulation nucleic acid don't just uh, dictate how proteins are built but they also control which proteins are made and when the time and uh, the nature of the protein is also decided by the nucleic acid by regulating the gene expression uh, that is uh, tuning uh, uh, the genes uh, on and off uh, nucleic acid influences various cellular processes like the growth the differentiation uh, and uh, response to the uh, stress then hereditary transmission uh, the faithful uh, replication of dna uh, ensures that uh, the accurate transfer of genetic information from parent to uh, the offspring is happening so this continuity allows for the preservation of the 
spec uh, the species characteristics and and uh, and the potential for further evolution then transfer of genetic code uh, as mentioned earlier the messenger rna plays a crucial role in carrying the genetic code from dna to ribosome and uh, uh, this messenger uh, molecule uh, they bridges the gap between the genetic information storage that is dna and the protein production machinery that is ribosomes then enzyme activities uh, while not as a common as protein enzymes uh, some rna molecules uh, called the uh, ribozymes ribozymes uh, act as the catalyst uh, and uh, they speed up the specific chemical reaction within the cell then to more energy transfer and uh, cellular signaling energy transfer uh, it's not the primary function of uh, nuclear but some nucleic acid like uh, uh, adenosine triphosphate atp it contribute to the cellular energy transfer atp act as the universal uh, uh, that energy currency uh, in cells uh, uh, providing the power for various uh, processes and the cellular signaling uh, means certain nucleic acids they participate in uh, cellular signaling pathways uh, these pathways allow the cell to communicate with each other uh, 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 they coordinating uh, responses to external stimulus as well as the environmental challenges then they also maintains uh, the uh, cell structure uh, to maintain the integrity of this uh, cell structure influencing the processes like the cell division and growth and they also ensures that a great uh, duplication uh, and the distribution of energy, the genetic material is happening during the during the cell division then it also used for synthesis of biomolecules uh, uh, it contribute uh, not only protein synthesis it also contribute to the production of other essential uh, biomolecules within the cell so these biomolecules they play uh, a required role or vital role in uh, cellular function and overall organisms health okay so i hope uh, you've got some points for at least for five months thank you very much for watching uh, only i need you to uh, request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, that is a support expected expecting my youtube channel my intuition uh, 4865 once again thank you and have a nice day